Good morning, <laughs> and welcome to Endicott College's 81st Annual Commencement Ceremony, celebrating the Class of 2021. Please rise for the National Anthem, which will be performed by Rachel Richmond a member of the Endicott Singers, who is also here graduating today. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so Ooh. 
those broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we've watched with so gallantly streaming and the You can be seated. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our beautiful campus, which is located on the homelands of the Namkieg tribe. Their descendants continue to survive and retain their oral cult and cultural traditions. This acknowledgement is a simple and powerful way of us showing respect and a step towards correcting the stories that erase tribal history. It goes without saying, after the year we have all been through, that being together to celebrate these graduates is a true blessing. We pray to have the insight. Go ahead. <laughs> We pray to have the insight, the inspiration, and the strength to make the utmost of the great possibility that each one of them represents. We offer gratitude to the source of all life, called by many names and in many ways, for this opportunity to be together to appreciate their awesome accomplishments. Amen. And welcome guests, faculty, staff members of our Board of Trustees, and most importantly, a big welcome to the members of the class of 2021. We are here today to honor and celebrate your achievements. And though today is about launching your future, I'd like to start by taking a quick look back. Back to about four years ago, when you chose to apply to Endicott College and once accepted when you chose to attend this wonderful institution. Four years ago, when we were selecting prospective members of the class of 2021, a date that sounded light years away back in 2017, we also did something else, something that while not overly trumpeted, but something that is an essential link to who we are as a college, and in particular, an essential link to our mission at Endicott College. With that letter of acceptance, we made a promise. Implicit in that letter was the promise that we would fulfill our commitment to provide you with a learning experience commensurate with the tradition of the academic rigor and deep commitment to authentic career preparation for which this institution is known. There were no caveats, no loopholes in the case of extraordinary circumstances and no outs just in case something as cataclysmic as say a pandemic were to happen. Simply put, we were committed to follow through on our promise that would lead you to be sitting here at your commencement today. I'm so very proud to say that thanks to the extraordinary efforts, and I do mean extraordinary efforts, of the Endicott College administration, staff, and faculty, we upheld that promise. 
We upheld Endicott's rigorous academic standards and requirements. Our staff and faculty were asked to pivot, to adapt, to reinvent, and to pivot again and again. Our faculty's passion for teaching and their dedication to the student success led to learning new ways of teaching here at Endicott. And that passion and dedication carried the day. So I ask you, the class of 2021, and your families and friends to join me in honoring all members of the Endicott community who made this possible with a well-deserved round of applause. But not only did we upheld that promise, you stepped up to that challenge. Because of your resilience and your perseverance, we are here today to recognize all that you've accomplished and to celebrate all members of the class of 2021. Well done. Here's to our celebration today, to the end of an academic year we are sure to remember, and of course, here's to your day, your day to receive your diploma and celebrate your accomplishments here at Endicott. And now it's my pleasure to introduce President Stephen DeSalvo, whose leadership allowed us to reimagine Endicott this year and led to our ability to be here today in person for this commencement. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz. Uh, before I begin my formal remarks, uh, you need to know that I kept checking the weather app on my phone all week and it kept showing a little bit of rain. So I did what I did all year. I called on someone who could fix anything and I put the weather uh, in the hands of Mark Kulikowski. And look what we got. Well, good morning. Welcome guests, faculty, staff members, uh, and our board of trustees, uh, parents and loved ones, members of the class of 2021, our chair, Melissa Hempstead, whose name adorns this beautiful stadium. Welcome to the 81st commencement ceremony. We have much to celebrate today. Personally, it is my distinct honor to preside over my first commencement ceremony in person with all of you here at Hempstead Stadium. One of the primary powers of education is enhancing one's perspective, sparking us to see, to notice and observe the world around us with a fresh pair of eyes. This, in turn, yields insight. Very often, fresh perspective also stirs in us a deeper appreciation of our world, from the magnificent to the relatively mundane everyday blessings of daily life. To paraphrase Ralph Waldo Emerson, if the stars should appear only one night in a thousand years, oh, how we would marvel and adore. We could certainly apply that thinking to the past 15 months. This year, unlike any other, has certainly grabbed our attention and changed our perspective in ways that none of us could have imagined. A pandemic that has cost the lives of more than three million people around the world is the most galvanizing of events. Amid the suffering and distortion of our day-to-day -day living, life during this pandemic has also been highly instructive as dramatic disruptions to our daily life can be. Lessons can only be learned if the student is willing to hear them. And this past year, we have all been students, learning about ourselves, our community, our world, and our future. While daily rituals have been disrupted, life has gone on, distorted and muted in many ways, but it has gone on. Babies have been born. Marriages have taken place. Careers have been launched. Hobbies have become businesses. Neighbors who were strangers are now our friends. Basic joys and amenities that we once took for granted are viewed perhaps with a more grateful pair of eyes. A holiday table filled with family. Going to the movies attending a sporting event, and yes, even buying toilet paper. We've witnessed extraordinary progress in science, 
launching successful vaccines in a fraction of the time required in the past. The work of scientists who did not learn for learning's sake, but who pursued a passion, a work they seemed suited for, a work the, the world ultimately so desperately needed, and they were in the right place. I outline all of this to remind us of the context of what we celebrate today. The class of 2021 has experienced more change than any other class in the history of this institution. During the past four years, you saw the old WAC Center come down and two new buildings emerge in its place. There have been two presidents of the United States and three presidents of Endicott College. And yes, you have lived through the first worldwide pandemic in more than 100 years, a crisis that has changed the world. But you were also part of a remarkable, reimagined experience that allowed you to be here in person since September, resilient in your drive to complete your education. Led by our faculty and staff, whose extraordinary efforts helped to maintain no matter what the circumstances, the rigorous academic standards on which Endicott College is built. If there's one lesson we've all learned, it is that adversity and disruptive change come in many forms. Learning to adapt to that change prepares you well for the life journey ahead. For as we know, it is not the adversity itself that determines our path but rather our chosen response to that adversity that ultimately defines us. You forged lifelong friendships and were mentored by faculty who cared deeply about your personal and professional success. You have cried for the loss of a classmate. You struggled to make sense of issues of gun violence and racial injustice. You have served the greater community and cared for those in need. You won hard-fought battles on the ice, the court, and the fields. And long after the scores and grades on papers have been forgotten, you will remember who was with you at your side and how you conducted yourself, forever a champion in the hearts and minds of your faculty, coaches, and the entire Endicott community. These collective experiences have helped you grow academically, socially, and spiritually. And your entrepreneurial nature has aided in helping to think big and bold thoughts about, about how to contribute to make the world a better place. So you're off to a great start, for you've already made Endicott College a better place with the unique fingerprint you left on this institution and your classmates in particular. Last spring, my wife Eileen and I walked this campus when it was deserted. Aside from one fox that followed us every day, and he did follow us every day, we rarely saw another living creature. It was during those dark days that I realized how important it was to figure out a way to have students back on this campus in the fall. Months of planning resulted in testing protocols, mask wearing, distancing, limitations on gatherings. We knew the restrictions would be challenging, but we also knew they were necessary to keep all of us safe and our campus secure. None of this would have been possible if it were not for the commitment of all of our students, faculty, and campus-wide staff. We were able to do what most colleges could not provide an on-campus experience where living, eating, and socializing, and even playing sports was as close to normal as possible. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for your efforts in making this past year possible. Now, there's, there is one group in particular that deserves special recognition for their efforts on campus and indeed throughout our healthcare system, and that's our nursing students.
They're a shy bunch, as you can see. But you chose your profession because you felt a call to serve others. Little did you know that you would be called into direct service so early in your career. But how magnificently you responded. I received numerous calls and letters from patients who experienced outstanding care from Endicott nurses this past year. Some nurses worked in hospitals during the peak of the pandemic, and some nurses heeded the call to help with vaccine distributions over the past several months. I want to share with you one note I received from a gentleman who met one of our nurses a few months ago. The note reads, Dear President DeSalvo, March 11th was a big day for me, my birthday and also the day I received my COVID vaccine. Very exciting. My shot was administered at the Somerville MGH Brigham facility by one of your nursing students under the guidance of an MGH nurse. Apart from your student's competence, she was pleasant, calming, and all that one would want in a nurse. Too often, good works get forgotten. And you should be proud of this simple event that made me ever so pleased. You're doing good work at Endicott and need to be reminded of that by someone with no affiliation to your school. I will remember. Now, you may have noticed that the nurses are seated together up front at today's commencement ceremony. <laughs> nurses and healthcare professionals have led the way in helping the world to heal. It is only appropriate that they lead the way today. So I have... So I've asked Provost Schwartz to allow the School of Nursing to be the first recipients of diplomas today. When all of our diplomas are awarded, each of you will leave campus today as fellow Gull alumni, ready to face life's challenges and spread your wings. Be proud of your alma mater. Return to the nest frequently. Never forget that what you have learned and what you have experienced are to be treasured. I speak with great confidence on behalf of the entire Endicott community when I say, we are all so very proud of you, who you are, what you have accomplished, and who you are becoming. Finally, although you leave here today no longer as undergraduate students, be sure to remember this. College is for four years, but Endicott College is forever. Thank you, and go Gulls. Dr. DeSalvo. Next, I would like to present the Founders Medallion. The Founders Medallion Award recognizes the traditional undergraduate program's graduating senior with the highest cumulative grade point average, determined by close examination of, gra of graduating students' cumulative GPAs, and then selected by the provost. The recipient represents the ultimate in academic achievement at Endicott College and is committed to learning, inquiry, and excellence. The class of 2021 has two of these outstanding students this year. Both students have been on the Dean's List for all eight semesters and have maintained a 4.0 cumulative grade point average for their entire graduate, undergraduate career. Our first recipient of the Founders Medallion is a business management major from Saugus, Massachusetts. I learned from the Dean of the School of Business that this student was intent on graduating with a 4.0 from the day he started at Endicott. His work ethic is exceptional, which was matched only by the amount of energy he displayed during his time on campus. A commuter who, who worked full time to put himself through school a member of Endicott Scholars Program and a member of Sigma Beta Delta Endicott's International Business Honor Society. He has accepted a full-time offer as a business analyst at C.H. Robinson, where he just completed his full semester internship and at the same time 
He'll be working towards his fifth year MBA at Endicott. And our second winner is an elementary education major from Walpole, Massachusetts. She's a member of the Endicott Scholars Program and Kappa Delta Pi, the International Honor Society in Education. She will begin the next stage of her journey in Endicott's fifth year master's program where she'll pursue her license in severe disabilities as an Endicott Fellow. Please welcome to the stage and join me in congratulating our two winners of the Founders Medallion, Nicholas Guarino and Isabel Catherine Nee. last student award to present is the President's Award. The President's Award recognizes a traditional undergraduate student who exemplifies the Endicott College ideals. By their engagement academically and socially, they have had a significant impact on the college. Recipients of the President's Award have represented themselves with integrity, have assumed responsibility, and have enriched the experience of their peers, faculty, and administration by their actions. Nominations for the President's Award were made by Endicott faculty and staff members. The recipient of the 2021 President's Award graduates today from of Arts and Sciences with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. He also received the School of Arts and Sciences Dean's Award as a result of his cumulative GPA and contribution to his discipline as a result of a vote by the school faculty. I now invite to the stage the class of 2021 President's Award winner, Daniel Kalnan. Congratulations, Daniel. I would now like to introduce this year's honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker, Dana Bash. Dana is CNN's chief political correspondent and co-anchor of State of the Union with Jake Tapper and Dana Bash, the network's Sunday morning newsmaker show. Bash is based in Washington, D.C., where she covers both campaigns and Congress. She also moderated CNN's first debate of the 2020 election cycle in the great metropolis of Detroit, Michigan. Bash is the winner of the National Press Foundation's 2019 Sol Taishoff Award for Excellence in Broadcast Journalism. In 2017, Dana launched her CNN series, Badass Women of Washington which features women from a wide range of backgrounds and generations and shows how they have shattered glass ceilings on their way up the ranks. From the halls of Congress to the White House, she gets personal with some of the most powerful women in our nation's capital. Bash has conducted sit-down interviews with many political figures, 
including Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Bernie Sanders, Governors Jeb Bush, and John Kasich, and she also conducted uh, Speaker John Boehner's final interview on his last day in office. She earned the prestigious, distinguished reporting of Congress award from the National Press Foundation in unprecedented three times. Dana has reported as CNN's White House correspondent from the nation's capital and from various locations around the world during George W. Bush's administration and has reported on major stories including Hurricane Katrina, the CIA leak investigation, and the capture of Saddam Hussein. Previously, Bash was an editor in CNN's Washington Bureau, where she helped plan and coordinate the network's coverage of Capitol Hill. Dana Bash graduated cum laude with her bachelor's degree in political communications from the George Washington University. It is for these reasons and for the significant contributions to the field of journalism that by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Endicott College, I hereby confer unto Dana Bash the degree of Doctor of Journalism honoris causa with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Accepting the degree on behalf of Dana Bash is Melissa Hempstead, Chair of Endicott College Board of Trustees. It is now my distinct honor to present Dana Bash as the distinguished speaker for Endicott College's 81st commencement. Hello, class of 2021. I am so honored to be asked to speak to you today. It's a real bummer that I can't be there in person. That's true for a lot of reasons. The good news, though, is that you are having an in-person graduation. I'm sure this is something you are beyond grateful for, given that nothing is a given these days. But I know that Endicott College students were among the lucky ones this school year. Under President DeSalvo's leadership, you actually had in-person learning since September with no interruptions. That's really incredible given the struggle so many academic institutions faced with virtual learning, hybrid, all of the challenges that go along with it. Don't get me wrong, I know that you struggled like we all did, and I'm sure that you had your pandemic moments and some of your friends who were at other colleges and universities probably had a very different, more difficult experience. The way Endicott navigated the pandemic, you got a firsthand look at what leadership looks like and what a difference it can make in people's everyday lives. That's a vivid lesson to take into the real world. Unfortunately, you graduates are taking another life lesson with you along with your diplomas, and that is things don't always go as planned. You experience that along with most of the human race when the pandemic really hit in March of last year. You went virtual and things shut down. It was not easy, but you, we all, we adapted. We had to, and frankly, that's an extreme version of real life. On a much smaller, less dire scale, things go wrong. Life and work take you in directions that you don't expect. That's not always a bad thing. In fact, most of the time it could land you someplace better than expected. Today, I want to talk about a virtue most people entering the workforce don't have much of these days, and that is patience. We all want to move up. We want to move on quickly. I get it. I've been there. I was there. I was you more than a few years ago. I actually started here where I am right now at CNN when I was the same age many of you are right now. I got my job just as I was graduating from college, and I was relieved and excited and petrified which some of you may be able to relate to right about now. My first job at CNN was to press play and record on VCRs. You probably don't know what VCRs are, Google them if you don't. Um, but those VCRs received and sent video feeds to the mothership of CNN in Atlanta. On my very first day, my boss came in and informed me that part of my responsibility was to rip the scripts and run the teleprompter for the 3 p.m. show. I didn't even know we had a 3 p.m. show, let alone how to run a teleprompter. And it was 2.45 when I found this out. Now, back then, the teleprompter was manual. It wasn't computerized. We had to feed paper onto a machine like a conveyor belt. And the anchor read the text as it scrolled. Well, 
Needless to say, since I had no clue what I was doing, the pages were totally out of order and they got bunched up, they got twisted. It was a disaster. And this wasn't Ron Burgundy in the movie Anchorman saying I'm Ron Burgundy because someone put a question mark in the teleprompter. This was a real disaster. After the show, the anchor stormed into the control room, understandably furious, yelling at the producer, and then turned to me and said, you, who are you? And I said, I I'm Dana, it's my first day. And he said, oh yeah, well, it's gonna be your last. Remember, I told you things can go wrong. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. I was convinced I was finished, but somehow, somehow I was spared and worked my way up to associate producer and then producer on CNN's weekend public affairs programs. It was working on those shows that I realized I loved being a journalist. I was learning from the incredible show hosts, veteran reporters like Frank Sesno and Robert Novak and Roland Evans, Wolf Blitzer. I realized then I wanted to do what they did, be a reporter, gather information from sources, ask tough questions of the people Americans elect to lead. In the back of my mind, I had a goal, and that goal was to be the host of one of the shows that I was then producing be the one to interview the people I was calling as a behind the scenes producer to come on the show. Be the one to ask questions, the ones that I was helping craft. That was in the mid 1990s. This year, 2021, I was named co-anchor of CNN State of the Union. I achieved that goal. Decades later, remember patience. Now, would I have liked to have gotten where I am a bit earlier? Candidly, yes. But for the most part, what I learned along the way, the years and years of experience I racked up being a show producer and a field producer, a reporter, it made me more prepared. Experience as a Capitol Hill producer covering everything from Bill Clinton's impeachment trial to the attack on 9-11 where my colleagues and I almost became, became part of the story as we were evacuated from the Capitol. Experience as a White House correspondent where I covered the run-up to the Iraq War, traveled the world with George W. Bush covered his reelection campaign, experienced traveling the country during the 2008 campaign, covering what I thought was gonna be the craziest presidential campaign of my lifetime, then came 2016, not to mention the 2020 campaign. I know taking a breath and enjoying every rung on a long ladder up may sound antiquated to you all, and that's understandable. We live in a world where teenage TikTok stars make millions from doing cool dances, where young people make millions on YouTube playing video games with their friends, where influencers on Instagram make millions pitching an unattainable look and lifestyle. All around you, all you're seeing are people finding success early and fast. You look at it, look at it examples of it all day long on your telephone. For you, who are lucky enough, everybody out there has luck. Some of, some of you will find the golden ticket. When you do, more power to you. But I'm here to tell you, if you don't, that's okay. Wolf Blitzer always told me, and lots of others around here, crawl before you walk, walk before you run. Success comes in lots of forms, and you will define it differently at different points of your life. But I've learned that there is one constant ingredient in any recipe for success, and that is like what you do. If you can, love what you do. The more you love it, the more you will succeed because you're really gonna wanna engage and excel. When I was a college student, I studied political communication at the George Washington University. I had lots of different internships in different parts of that broad major. I worked in public relations, and I worked specifically in the corporate division of a news network. I hated it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the people were lovely, they were welcoming, but I quickly realized that was me. I was not cut out for a corporate environment. It was too quiet. I then interned in politics in Congress. I had an internship uh, in the Senate. I volunteered even at the White House. It was really cool to be there walking through the halls of the Capitol, not to mention through the gates of the White House. But Having that experience made me realize it was not for me. Why? Because I didn't have a particular passion for either party. I'm not ideological. What I love about politics is learning what all sides think about an issue and why. I was more comfortable being a voyeur than a participant. So learning what I liked and I didn't like through internships was invaluable. And I know that 
At Endicott, you have been encouraged to get internships as well. Experiential learning is a big component of the school. If you were able to take advantage of that, terrific. Learn from it. Think about what really got you jazzed during those internships. If you were not able to figure that out during school, it's okay. You're young. You can have some trial and error time now. If you get a job you really like, lucky you. Stick with it. If you don't, it's okay. Don't be afraid to change course. Take a leap. The worst thing that will happen is that you decide that's not for you either and you can try something else. The key is landing on something that really makes you excited to go to work in the morning. And if you do, you will be better at your job and happier more broadly in your life. It sounds really simple, but too many people don't do this and get stuck. And you know, I learned a lot along the way from mentors. I watched people I really admired, how they conducted themselves at work and in life, and most importantly, how they approached the tradecraft of journalism. Mentors are really important. Seek them out, learn from them, get advice. It is invaluable. Looking back, if I could give my graduating self some advice, here's what I would say. Be prepared, do your homework, know what you're talking about. That is so key. You can fake it till you make it. We all do it every once in a while, but it only worked point. The other thing I would tell myself is be ambitious, but not overly calculating because that will likely only lead to disappointment. Be nice. Not only is being nice strategic because most people would rather work with somebody who's pleasant than somebody who's a jerk, it's also more fulfilling. Who wants to go through life acting like an SOB? It really doesn't sound fun. I know that this is an exciting time. It's also terrifying. You're excited to get started in the real world, but worried about what it really means. Well, your mascot is the gulls. Just like the birds, you have spent time in the nest, the warmth of Endicott College, which has prepared you for the world. Some of you may be reluctant, but you can fly. You're ready. Thank you so much, and congratulations again to the class of 2021. You did it. It's my distinct honor as provost of the college to call upon each dean, of facu dean or faculty member to present the candidates for degrees in their respective schools. I ask you hold your applause until all the deans have presented the candidates. Before we begin the conferral of degrees, I would like to again invite President DeSalvo to the podium to posthumously award the degree of Bachelor's of Science to a beloved student whom he lost in January 2021 Hannah Weir. On January 15th of this year, the Endicott community lost one of its own. Hannah Weir, a senior marketing major from Southington, Connecticut, was an active member of the student body and is missed by classmates, roommates, faculty, friends, and family who all wish she was here celebrating with us today. Hannah's closest friends held a memorial service earlier this semester in the Rose Performance Hall on campus with many friends and family members following online. We all share the pain of her loss as Hannah flourished during her time at Endicott College and was on track to graduate with her Bachelor of Science degree in marketing with a 3.5 grade point average. Hannah had already excitedly and gratefully accepted a position after graduation at her previous internship site. Her future employer was also devastated to learn this news. In recognition of Hannah's academic accomplishments, Hannah's parents, Peg and Kevin Weir, are here today to accept Hannah's degree on her behalf. Peg and Kevin have noted that the pain and sorrow of losing Hannah is insurmountable at times, and accepting Hannah's degree from Endicott will give us some solace. Well, Peg and Kevin, I hope that when you see Hannah's diploma hanging on the wall, it will remind you of this special place that she loved so dear dearly. Therefore, at this time, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Endicott College, I hereby bestow the degree of Bachelor of Science to Hannah Mary Weir.
DeSalvo noted this year in recognition and honor of our healthcare heroes during a global pandemic, we'll first recognize our students graduating from the School of Nursing. I now invite Dr. Nancy Meadsden, Dean of the School of Nursing, to please come forward. Will the candidates for the doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees in the School of Nursing please rise? Yeah. President DeSalvo, the candidates whose names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all the requirements for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science, and Bachelor of Science in the School of Nursing. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Dr. Jean Wong, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, to please come forward. Will the candidates for the Master's, Bachelor's, and Associate's degrees in the School of Arts and Sciences please rise. <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates whose names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements for degrees Master of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate in Science in the School of Arts and Sciences. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Dr. Michael Page, Dean of the School of Business, to please come forward. <laughs> Oh. Huh, okay. <laughs> Will the candidates for the master's, bachelor's, and associate's degrees in the School of Business please rise? Yeah! <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates whose names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, an associate in science in the School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty, and they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Yeah? Good. Okay. <laughs> candidates, please be seated. I now invite Professor Amy D'Amico, stepping in for Dean Laurel Hellerstein, to please come forward. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the School of Communication please rise? <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates whose name appear on the scroll have successfully fulfilled all the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the School of Communication. I certify that these candidates have fully complied relations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Dr. Sarah Quay, Dean of the School of Education, to please come forward. <laughs> Will the candidates for the doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees in the School of Education please rise? <sighs> President DeSalvo. The candidates whose names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements 
for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, Master of Science, Master of Education, and Bachelor of Arts in the School of Education. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness in their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. <laughs> Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Dr. Todd Komen, Dean of the School of Hospitality Management, to please come forward. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in the School of Hospitality Management please rise. <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates whose names appear on the scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees of Bachelor of Science in the School of Hospitality Management. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Dr. Deborah Swanton, Dean of the School of Sports Science, to please come forward. Will the candidates for the master's and bachelor's degrees in the School of Sports Science please rise? <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates' names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Education, and Bachelor of Science in the School of Sports Science. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness in their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. I now invite Mark Towner, Dean of the School of Visual and Performing Arts, to please come forward. Will the candidates for the master's and bachelor's degrees in the School of Visual and Performing Arts please rise? <laughs> President DeSalvo, the candidates whose names appear on this scroll have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees of the Master of Arts and the Bachelor of Fine Arts in the School of Visual and Performing Arts. I certify that these candidates have fully complied with the regulations prescribed by our faculty and that they have, by examination and performance, demonstrated thoroughness of their work. May it please you that these degrees be granted. Candidates, please be seated. Will all the candidates for all degrees please rise? President DeSalvo, having accepted the recommendations of the deans of the schools and their respective faculty, and having reviewed the transcripts and any other necessary requirements, I hereby present to you the candidates for the degrees as represented by the deans of each school. I accept the recommendations of the deans that these candidates have successfully completed all of the academic requirements for said degrees. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Endicott College, I hereby confer unto the candidates whose names appear on these scrolls the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, Master of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, an associate in science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. We will now beginning, begin the awarding of diplomas. 
As you walk across the stage, if you've been fully vaccinated, you may remove your mask to obtain a photo with Dr. DeSalvo. All members of the platform party have been fully vaccinated. Present today are some seniors who are unable to attend the ceremony at no choice of their own, including the seniors on the softball team who are competing this morning in Hudson University in Bangor, Maine. Those students' names will still be read and will be celebrated with their families this summer. Beginning with the graduates of the School of Nursing, will the graduates please come forward according to the field marshal directions. Doctor of Philosophy, Catherine Elizabeth Dion. Dissertation title, The Lived Experience of Nurses as Unpaid Caregivers. Master of Science, Bryce Peyton Adley. <laughs> Olivia Ann Cilia. Sarah Jean Curran. Islande Danat. Caitlin Marie Gaglioni. Valerie Ann Joyce Santini. Mandy J. McCormick. Lisa Marie McGoldrick. Sathia Miranda. Tori, Marie, Tori Elizabeth Saltmarsh. Sylvia Satheku. Haley Rose Spencer. Annika Kirsten Stables. Allison Whitney. Bachelor of Science, Jesse Michelle Aldridge. Iftimi Arapi. Cassidy Armstrong, cum laude. Tara Kaur Aluwalia. Molly Jane Atzbach, cum laude. Brittany Lee Barrows, cum laude. Kimberly Nicole Beebe, magna cum laude. Olivia Rose Burradino, cum laude. Nicole Ann Berman, cum laude. Michael William Barabe. Cassidy Jill Both, cum laude. Emily Rose Booth. Here to assist President DeSalvo in handing Emily her diploma is her brother, Private First Class. <laughs> Private first class.
is Private First Class Ryan Booth of the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Ryan arrived home only yesterday after leaving for boot camp in the summer of last year. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, he was unable to return home or visit family until now. Thank you, Private Booth, for your service and congratulations. Gabriella Marie Bordenaro, cum laude. Marissa Lee Breen, cum laude. Madison Michelle Bryda. Courtney J. Bushy, magna cum laude. Zoe Hannah Clarkin. Gabrielle Marie Conde. Talia Catherine Costa, cum laude. Jaden Eve Crodo. Casey Elizabeth Denizio, cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Davenport, cum laude. Alexa Marie DeFilio, cum laude. Morgan Lee DeRusso, cum laude. Hannah Marie Dion. David Andrew Durante. Rachel Lynn Duval, cum laude. Christopher Robert Edwards. Yeah. Kayla Gasson Eldaya, magna cum laude. Olivia Lauren Farrow, cum laude. Yeah. Kelly Brianna Haru Fisher, cum laude. Yeah. Kayla Alice Fitch. Maeve Alice Spitz. Yeah. Olivia Rose Folks, magna cum laude. Yeah. Anne Mackenzie Frame, magna cum laude. Yeah. Hannah Elizabeth French, cum laude. Yeah. Rachel Olivia Golden, magna cum laude. Jared Gosper. Jalen Rose Grabo, summa cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Gunter. Lindsay Marie Hagerstrom, cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Hickey. Nicole Elizabeth Hurley, magna cum laude. Newly commissioned Second Lieutenant Caroline Catherine Jamison. Danielle Marie Jusum. Ariana Rose Kelly. Hannah Rose Kelly. Yeah. Nicole Page King, cum laude. Yeah. Noelle Lamatina, magna cum laude. Yeah. Catherine Elizabeth Langdon, cum laude. Yeah. Lindsay Marie Lannon. Catherine Marie Lavalley. Megan Elizabeth Lawson. Alyssa N. Lee, magna cum laude. Nicole Elizabeth Lerner.
Taylor Lee LaRue. Amanda Nicole Lombardo, magna cum laude. Molly Margaret Manning, cum laude. Haley Elizabeth Merrick, cum laude. Christian Martinez, summa cum laude. Kaylee Jinyi Massey, summa cum laude. Taylor Renee Massey, magna cum laude. Kelly Eileen McCann, cum laude. Gabrielle Anna McDonald, cum laude. Haley Ryan McStay. Emma Mary Miller, magna cum laude. Olivia Helen Mortality, magna cum laude. Brianna Lynn Murray, magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth O'Brien, magna cum laude. Ruth Tamara Oziak, magna cum laude. Taylor Ann Papa, magna cum laude. Erica Lynn Parent, summa cum laude. Kareen Ina Parker. Emily McKay Parker. Natalie Elise Paul, cum laude. Lauren Piot. Caroline Elizabeth Pokalski, magna cum laude. Caitlin Eileen Redford. Elise Marie Renier. Ashley Marie Resnick, cum laude. Hannah Patrice Robbins. Valentina Russo. Amelia Ann Sanchez. Anne Marie Sanford. Tyler Scott Schmink, cum laude. Crystal Taylor Schaefer, cum laude. Natalie Margaret Shambo, magra cum laude. Julia Elizabeth Sheets, magna cum laude. Abigail Carol Scarin, summa cum laude. Erin Marie Skidmore, cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Small. Megan Michaela Smith, magna cum laude. Olivia Rose Smith. Michael Jeffrey Spence. Camden Rockford Stockdale, cum laude. Nicolette Kelsey Tellerico, magna cum laude. Cassidy Mae Thorpe, magna cum laude. Nicole Page Trudon, magna cum laude. Andrew Michael Tucker, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Vickery. Olivia Villanueva, magna cum laude. 
Marissa Maria Vitale. Lauren Catherine Whitney, cum laude. Chloe Ray Elizabeth Wood. Julia Ann Wright. Maura Rose Zakaria. Kelsey Alicia Zajak. Ashley Marie Zampino, cum laude. Graduates of the School of Arts and Sciences. Julia Kristen DeAngelis. Casey John Glenn. Peter Charles Jakes. Marquis Jean. Kayla Rose Kenahan. Kayla Louise McKinnon. Sierra A. McClear. Chris Michael Orlando. Christopher Irvin Pimentel. David E. Rodriguez. Andrew John Soristo. Michael Gordon Steves. Victoria Rose Atunez. Evelyn Rose Baldwin, summa cum laude. Patrick Liam Barron. Caitlin May Barrett, cum laude. Jack Michael Bator. Elijah Bauman. Jamie Elamar Becker. Megan Elizabeth Berry, summa cum laude. Sylvia R. Bularte. Christian Andrew Bovest. Terrence Brett Bovest. Was that? Yep. Madison Irene Boudreau. Terrence Brett Bovest. Justin Anders Bowen, summa cum laude. Alexa Nicole Brown, summa cum laude. Emma Christine Burgess Dunn. Chantelle Lynette, cum laude. Daniel Joseph Cownan, summa cum laude. 
Jordan Daniel Carvalho, cum laude. Christina Elizabeth Chevry. Kaylin A. Cleary, magna cum laude. Abby Cloutier. Haley Beth Demers. Thomas Leon Dennison, cum laude. Shauna Lee Dickinson. Kelly Marie Dillon, magna cum laude. Catherine Sokney Drum Schwartz, summa cum laude. Katarina Alexis Duart, magna cum laude. Gregory Gustav Doral. Adriana June Favro, magna cum laude. Gabriel Dean Felicetti. Jessica Courtney Foster. Jocelyn Fournier, cum laude. Timothy Adam Fruchette, summa cum laude. <laughs> Megan Victoria Frederick. Mia Lauren Godino, magna cum laude. Vincent Joseph Jackie Loney. Jeremy Brian Gillis, summa cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Glennon, cum laude. Matthew John Grabowski. Jack McGuire Gruber. William Callahan Holler. Zachary Ronald Hardenstein, magna cum laude. Isabel Ann Hill. William Michael Homine, magnum cum laude. Emily May Hughes, magna cum laude. Benjamin R. Jackman. Kyle Thomas Jakes, magna cum laude. Martha Morrison Johnson, magna cum laude. Declan James Keenan. Carolyn Grace Kimnitz, magna cum laude. Maya Haley Kermelowitz, magna cum laude. Haley Ann King. Pierce Maxwell Klein, summa cum laude. Evan Joseph Kuleg. Abigail W. Lantich, magna cum laude. Tor Samuel Alir Leak. Jennifer Marie Lafave. Adriana. Ali Letts, cum laude. Ryan John Lid, cum laude. Elizabeth Deborah Long, summa cum laude. Chloe Alyssa Long, cum laude. Michael John Leiden, cum laude. Maeve Ryder Malora, cum laude. Garrett Paul Mandeville. Alisa Jean Manzi, summa cum laude. 
Amy Lee McInnes, cum laude. Ann McKeon. Samantha Rose Mercurio, magna cum laude. Kevin Joseph Morenci, cum laude. Shannon Mary Moskowitz. Josina Munson. Zachary Russell Nado, magna cum laude. Joseph Windsor Naylor. Haley Marjorie Noel, magna cum laude. Megan Julia Onembo, magna cum laude. Michaela Reed Ortali, magna cum laude. Rosie J. Ortiz, cum laude. Catherine Marie Pakowski. Elisa Adriana Palumbo, magna cum laude. Taylor Ray Paquette. Zachary Robert Parent, cum laude. Jacqueline Ann Pariso, magna cum laude. Nicholas George Perkins, magna cum laude. Hannah Jean Penny, cum laude. Margaret Mary Power. Heather Ann Posey, summa cum laude. Heaven Marie Cray, magna cum laude. Alexa Nicole Pretellis, cum laude. Rhiannon Marissa Krushinsky, summa cum laude. Brennan James Quigley, magna cum laude. Amanda Marie Recupero. Rachel Marie Richmond. Jenna Marie Roberts, cum laude. Emma Louise Roca, summa cum laude. Morgan Renee Roder. Benjamin William Rowland. Avery Margaret Roy, magna cum laude. Connor Bradley Sackos, magna cum laude. Mary Margaret Sauer. Madeline Rose Scally, cum laude. Vanessa R. Scheinbaum. Madeline Josephine Shields. Catherine Victoria Skinner, cum laude. Andrew Michael Smith. Christopher Nolan Sobral. Ashley Nicole Solov, cum laude. Todd Edward Stelling, summa cum laude. Laura Marie Stump, magna cum laude. Rachel Elizabeth Taylor, summa cum laude. Erica Lynn Tebow. Kyle Robert Thibodeau, summa cum laude. Haley Ann Thomas, magna cum laude. Sabrina Lynn Tosto, summa cum laude. Leah Marie Troti, summa cum laude. Alexandria Nicole Tucker. 
Catherine Patricia Turner, magna cum laude. Yanira Ubira, cum laude. Griffin Andrew Erson, magna cum laude. John Michael, excuse me, Michael John Welch, cum laude. Hayden James Wheeler. Abby Cole Willard. Reginald Schuyler Williams, cum laude. Christopher Earl Wing. Zachary James Zola, cum laude. Graduates of the Curtis L. Garrish School of Business. We'll start with our master's candidates first. Taylor Marie Adragna. Nicholas Allen Acadipane. Harry Baker Connick. Cecilia Michelle Bakimi, Bakimli, sorry. Brady Thomas Baldinger. <clears throat> Elijah Ray Bard. Brittany Alexandra Basquet. Mamat Bayra. Marcel Borva, Margaret Jean Bumsteed, Brendan R. Carpenter, Edward Hunter Carroll II, Maximilian Kobe Chabot, Benjamin Allen Clark, Pamela Joyce Coit. We're doing it. Timothy Ryan Coit. Madison S. Costa. Patrick Daniel Michael Dietz. Haley Etta Disco. Jason Patrick Donovan. Arden Joseph Dorsey. Emma J. Downey. Sherry A. Durgan. Omar James Elhirek. Austin Alfred Fournier. Abigail Garish. Austin Fisher Gilbert. Michael Sean Kelly. Sarah Marie Kenyon. Okay. How about Isaac Matthew Klesik? John William Coble. Samuel John Coonley. Robert Joseph Lamprey. Jessica Kendall McNeil. Aruna Mom. 
Olivia Ray Matthews. Brendan Dominic McDonald. Connor Anthony McHugh. Julia Rose McIntyre. Michaela Margaret McNamara. Hannah Rose Merritt. Julia Marie Louise Monica. Malika, I'm sorry. Aiden Timothy Murphy. Richard, Richard Jacob Olio. Sydney Lynn Rayu. Emily Mar Marie Roach. Shane J. Sinopoli. Joshua M. Souza. <laughs> Nicholas Andrew Sturgis. Mahmoud Sami Tehrim. Abdulazi Turkan. Khan Vatan Parish. Vincent Terrell Walker. Okay. Rachel Joe Ward. Rachel Leah Wilson. Kazam Yarlu Yarimlu. Peter R. Sagabe. Joseph Sukakis, now we'll start on our bachelor's candidates, Samuel Edward Abade, Stephen Jeffrey Abbott, Cassidy Helena Aiello, Jonathan Day Ames, Molly Marie Andrade. Cooper James Annabelle. Jasmine Appletoft. Kelly Arango. Stephen Patrick Avery. Justin Drew Bailey. Emily Ann Bouchera. Soya David Baxton. Kyle Anthony Bory. Kyle E. Brennan. Kyle Lewis Brennan. Samantha Patty Brown. Lauren Ashley Burgess. Nope, okay. Jason Valancourt Bush. Lindsay Margaret Campbell. Hey, okay. What? Owen Richard Capadonna. Caitlin Elizabeth Carey. Michael, oh, Michael Carlino II. Okay. Page four, we're working on it. Okay. Jake Roman Carnival. <laughs> oh, sorry, Roman Jake Carnival. Uh, uh, dyslexia, okay. <laughs> Dylan Thomas Bofilio Ch Chacon.
Christopher Donald Cole. Fletcher Bennett Coleman IV. Brendan Richard Croston. Griffith M. Curtis. No? Okay. Samuel Dennis Dumaris. Liam Robert Donovan. Hey. Calvin Picard Driscoll. Kevin Stephen Dukas. Avi Grayson Ehrlich. Louis M. Ellis. No, that could be you. Mimi Bridget Phelan. Andrew David Fithian. I'm doing good. Okay, Cameron, sure. Cameron Page Foley. <laughs> Curtis Richard Forcer. Matthew Fuller. Christina Marie Galvin. Bennett Blake Gasowski. Nicholas Von Gatto. John Carney Geary. William Robert Genoway. Gotcha. Ian Michael Godfrey. Gotcha. Nicholas Garino is the guy. <laughs> Jesse Grant Haynes. Colin Patrick Hajar. Brian Daniel Hardy. Harder, I'm sorry. William Harton. Margareta Faye Hartman. Brandon Halton. Matthew John Hughes. Dylan Tyler Hutchinson. I should be in that picture. <laughs> Christina Ioko. Elias Leo Italiano. Luke S. Jorgensen. Ricky Camora. Carson Edward Kapika. Alexander Michael Karras. Jake Michael Kelty. Don Marie Kwiatek. Kylie Morgan Lombardi. Luis Gonzalo Lopez. James Jude Lockman III. Anthony Michael McKeah. Nicholas Robert Masalik. Nice try, okay. Dylan, Dylan Ryan Mayhew. That be, okay. Hunter David McCauley. Okay. Matthew Joseph McCleary. <laughs> Matthew O'Brien McDivitt. Sean Patrick McGrath. 
Matthew Philip McKinley. McKinley. Matthew Robert McLaughlin. Benjamin John Missiano. Oh. Casey Patrick Mulrow. Yoshiatsu Murata. Jaga Tappan Needy. Emily Rose Nestor. Russell John Noonan. Katie Ann Nugent. Samuel Telly Opont. John Martin Perino. Manny, you get your hat on. Okay, we got it. Manuel Jose Paradisius IV. It's okay. John Tyler Parisi. No, next one. Patrick G. Percival. Lee Ray Phillips. Marcus Anthony Poshu. Macy Amanda Powell. Gabriella Maria Prisco. Madison Hendricks Rahili. Michael Eric Rayon. Shane Robert Reganini. Maxwell Robert Robbins. Matthew Robert Robida. Abigail Lee Robinson. Margaret Rooney. Bridget Ruska. David Samuel Shapiro. Sofiana Sharif. Brett Sherman. Well, hold on. Now, Brett Sherman. <laughs> Jake Daniel Simmons. Christopher Robert Skinner. Hunter Douglas Smith. Stephen Anthony Solomino. Samuel Nelson Stevens. Jennifer Marie Stone. Lydia L. Terran, Terran. William Alphonse Tortorella. Cameron Truera. Julia Rose Vito. Austin Bruno Wallace. Liam Joseph Wallace. <laughs> Olivia Kaylee Weeks. <laughs> Eric Thomas Wells. <laughs> James Leno Wayland. <laughs> Lydia Rose Whitaker. Okay, Summer Ellen Williams. Nicole Lindsay Whitaker. A 
Amanda Le <coughs> Lunita Visbeck. Kimberly Lauren Wood. Hunter David McCauley. I rest. Graduates of the School of Communication, Joseph Sean Barrett, cum laude. Lauren Mackenzie Bedard, summa cum laude. Danielle Elise Boucher, magna cum laude. Sarah Joyce Bradley. Jaira Quintera Bray, cum laude. Jenna Renee Brown, summa cum laude. Devin Charles Chiganis, magna cum laude. Cody Thomas Chalifu. Lydia Faye Corcoran. Amy Taylor Couture, magna cum laude. Alexa Jade Dusalt, cum laude. William Ryan Fizikas, magna cum laude. Maya Jane Feigenbaum. Sloan Colette Friedhaber, magna cum laude. Hannah Marie Haslam, magna cum laude. Brian Michael Hines. Taylor Rose Johnson. Ashley Page Jones, cum laude. Nicholas Stephen Crocta. Danielle Rose Lavalle. Emily Ann Lachardi. Brianna Lee Marino. Lucas John Michelle. Yeah. Megan Elizabeth Miller, cum laude. Thank you. Daniel Francis Mooney. Yeah. Claire Elizabeth Murphy. Yeah. Jacob Elijah Nicolakakis. Patrick John O'Donnell. Jordan J. Petway. Sarah Rose Pollock. Alexis Lynn Reichus, summa cum laude. Sophie Abigail Rodman, cum laude. Thank you. Emily Kate Shackart, magna cum laude. Rebecca Jane Shade, magna cum laude. Madison Joy Shulman, magna cum laude. 
Riley Gerald Shanley. Shelby Rose Stanley, cum laude. Caitlin Rosemary Sullivan. Max Warren Thoreau. Victoria Lynn Tim, cum laude. Alexander Josta, Joseph Vuxta. Emily Sandra Yeager. Graduates of the School of Education, Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education, Vahe H. Babakanian, dissertation title, Evaluation of Live Feedback Sessions versus Email Feedback in an Asynchronous Online Course. Victoria Daniela Castillo, Dissertation title, An Evaluation of the Effects of Empathy Training on Racial Bias. <laughs> Roxanne Eileen Gale. Dissertation title, Autonomic Arousal and Adherence with Appointments. <laughs> Melanie Olson Giles. Dissertation title, Measuring Subvocal Behavior. Jessica Lynn Piazza. Dissertation title, Aspiring Supervisor Training. Implementing a training package to instruct evaluating ethical scenarios. Allison E. Rader. Dissertation title, The Use of Statistics to Supplement Visual Analysis. Jessica Lee Rohr. Dissertation title, Teaching Compassion Skills to Students of Behavior Analysis via Telehealth. Lisa M. Tereshko. Dissertation title, Impact of a Training Package to Improve the Effectiveness of Descriptive Assessment Data. Melissa Carolyn Theodore. Dissertation title, Further Analysis on the Effectiveness and Preference for Differential Reinforcement of Alternative Behavior and Response Cost. Holly L. Chase. Dissertation title, College Students Intercultural Competency Development During Experiential Learning Experiences and Study Abroad. Christina Lee Colella, dissertation title, Chronic Absenteeism at the Secondary Level Young Students with Disabilities, a Mixed Methods Case Study of an Urban School District. <laughs> Stacy L. Monet, dissertation title, Using Instructional Technology in the Middle School Classroom, an Exploratory Study. Master of Education and Master of Science, Robert Edward Ackerman. Kirsten Jane Alfonso. Rachel Louise Allison. Alexander R. Arevalo. Samantha Morgan Barney. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Batano. Mia Deborah Blum. Anna Elizabeth Bohegian. 
Alexander Richard Boninu. Olivia Sophie Burek. Amanda Marie Cancel. Julie Madeline Champagny. Elizabeth Ashley Clark. Kelly Elizabeth Clary. Nicole Annette Conway. Colleen Catherine Cotter. Lindsay Michelle Davis. Rachel Plum DeCola. Emily Ann Delasola. Ashley Marie DeLucia. Sophia Maria Devlin. Madeline Doble. Laura Ashley Dunbar. Emma Zamko. Tagreed Faoud El Turk. Wekjard Darlene Emmanuel. Mary Teresa Evans. Rachel Therese Fidrich. Madeline Frisella. Danielle Marie Gagnon. Brooke Ann Garvey. Sarah Cameron Gelinas. Deanna Marie Gagan. Lauren Elizabeth Gorse. Melanie Marie Halty. John Medillo Hannum. Catherine Mary Harrison. Heather Lynn Hessian. Ingrid Christina Jerpy. Daria Grace Howard. Julia McGrail Hurton. Lauren Maria Inglesby. Carrie Leanne Janvrin. Abigail Grace Johnstone. Musa L. Kamara. Jennifer Elizabeth LaCroix. Rachel L. LaRoche. Andrea Catherine Levy. Heather B. E. Lewis. Susan M. Love. David A. Lusher. John Lusher. Carolyn Mary Mabardi. Robert Patrick McKay. Anna Aspasia Macris. Michaela Lynn Malazzi. Hannah Olivia Manning. Elizabeth Nicole Masucci. Casey Alicia Maxner. 
Kristen Mary McCarthy. Sarah Elizabeth McCracken. Hannah Christine McDonald. Lindsay Nicole McGee. Kelsey Rose McPhee. Ariana Lila Mysell. Carolyn Rose Modlish. Olivia Emerson Moores. Allison Marie Mulvey. Cassidy Teresa Noons. Joanne Victoria O'Date. Mary Odira. Caitlin Diana O'Donnell. Cole Taylor O'Rourke. Kylie Jean Orzalak. Haley Christina O'Shea. Emily Marie Pace. Kristen Pacheco. Jenny Marie Patrick. Isha Pelletier. Eric Perkins. Rebecca H. Pomerantz. Laura Ann Potts. Elizabeth Jean Prentice. Melissa Kiros Castaneda. Rebecca Lynn Rankin. Anna Aurelis Reynoso Paulino. Laura Ann Ritson. Marissa Brittany Rokes. Kenneth Roper. Jessica Rosario. Hannah May Rosengren Moran. Marissa Russo. Meg E. Sandblum. Jillian May Savoy. Isabella Rose Sears. Alimatu and Marie Cisse. Gina Marie Sherman. Isabel Catherine Smith. Joanna Smith Michinati. Sandra Marilia Amarante Sousa. Maria Ashley Lee. Sheila Diana Vadrevu. Lauren Kelsey Veers. Madison Ventresca. Victoria Marcel Walder. Sydney Irene Workall. Megan Storm Witten. Chandler Rose Wilder. Caitlin McNeil Wilkins. Kaylee Elizabeth Willard. Caitlin Christine Williamson. Samantha Marie Warub. 
Kyle Zubrowski. Bachelor of Arts, Megan Maria Barlow, summa cum laude. Anna Francis Batista, summa cum laude. Abigail Elizabeth Berger, magna cum laude. Margaret Grace Berger, magna cum laude. Casey Elizabeth Brown, summa cum laude. Maeve Margaret Buckley. Rebecca Joy Castingway, summa cum laude. Haley Michelle Cerrone, summa cum laude. Stephanie Rose Cogswell. Alexis Marie Cole, magna cum laude. Logan James DeMaria. Caroline Elizabeth Devaney. Carly M. Dorothy Creston, summa cum laude. Jennifer Nicole DeVidio, summa cum laude. Kristen Rose Dwyer, magna cum laude. Krista Eileen Flanagan, cum laude. Abigail Elizabeth Flint, magna cum laude. Genevieve Margaret Goodman, magna cum laude. Emily Susan Hempstead, summa cum laude. Julia Lauren Holt. Uh, Alyssa Elizabeth Hopkins, summa cum laude. Hannah Lynn Jameson, magna cum laude. What, Rosemary Washoe Karunja. Nathan Walter Kulaza. Bridget Amelia La Selva, magna cum laude. Amanda Victoria Littell, summa cum laude. Leah Marie Lavoie. Kylie Elizabeth Middleton, magna cum laude. Natalie M. Nassar. Isabel Catherine Nee, summa cum laude. Victoria Dawn Nixon, magna cum laude. Caroline Ann Nolan. Julie Ann O'Connell, summa cum laude. El Elvira Osmanovic, cum laude. Natalie Paquin, summa cum laude. Mercedes Anna Pere, magna cum laude. Abigail Ashley Powers. Jessica Marie Ragusa, summa cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Reimer, magna cum laude. Marissa Elena Rossi, magna cum laude. Stephanie Lynn Shaw, summa cum laude. Jessica Sienna Sikanolfi. Alana Eleanor Slattery, cum laude. Danielle Bree St. John, cum laude. Abigail Marie Sullivan. Caitlin Joyce Sullivan, magna cum laude. Mary Celia Sarabian, summa cum laude. Allison Tantone, magna cum laude. 
Olivia Ann Valente, magna cum laude. Let's go, graduates of the School of Hospitality Management. Krista Mary Alfano, cum laude. Rachel Juliana Ambrosio. Lauren Elizabeth Beck, magna cum laude. Alicia Ann Biscop. Jamie Heather Callum, cum laude. Skylar Bryn Carr, cum laude. Kellyanne Rebecca Cooper, magna cum laude. Sydney Marie Devine, cum laude. Megan Josephine Danush. Sam Yik Phi Dorgan. Allison Ryan Farrick. Nice job. Mackenzie Ashley Fisher. <laughs> Melanie Margaret Fraser, cum laude. Allison Nicole Gagliotti, cum laude. Kaylee Chasu Harmon. Samantha Rose Layton. Katrina Lynn Locante. Bryn Rose Mandeville, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Jacqueline Martell. Alexandra Rose McGuire. Christina Patrice Nelson. Maggie May Rothberg. Brooke Ashley Russo, magna cum laude. Nicole Lynn Samarjan. Emily Rose Santo, cum laude. Caroline Seibert Secor, cum laude. Kelly Marie Shane. Bryn Quincy Tufts, magna cum laude. Lauren K. Tufts. Kayla Witcher. Madison Ann Marie Wynn. Graduates of the School of Sports Science. Mark Allen Bell. Catherine M. Bernfeld. 
Patrick Joseph Corcoran. Rachel Lauren Delante. Christina Marie Hill. Gregory Stephen K. Colin Patrick Kylie. Diane Patricia Scott. Catherine Ann Turbin. Rachel Jean Tucker. Jody Eleanor Vigneron. Brooke Margaret Wilson. Jacob Gabriel Smant Zornick. Evan Forty Lafano Cum Laude. Michael Christopher Batiste Magna Cum Laude. Maxwell Winston Benoit. Matthew Paul Barubi, magna cum laude. Charles Abraham Book. Blake Julia Freeman. Jennifer Teresa Briscoe, cum laude. Aaron McGuinn. Shevery, Caitlin Faye Clarizia, Thomas Christopher Comparato Cum Laude, Allison Beth Conchetti, Lucy Grace Crawford. Joseph Allen Del Ricci. Grace Kathleen Denholm Cum Laude. William Kyle Deesman Cum Laude. Sydney Diana DeFranco. Julia DeFranzo. Jacob Michael Fantasia. Claire Chantel Farrell. Lauren Elise Ferriolo. Emma Lee Freitas Cum Laude. Michael Francis Gabori. Shannon Elizabeth Gilbert, magna cum laude. Samantha Rose Gala. Kathleen Holly Ham, cum laude. Kristen Michael Jensen. Kristen Dennis Jordan. Taylor Noel Jordan. Kelsey Taylor Joyce. Laura J. Kamide. Justin Michael Kegabeen. Sarah Ann Kelly. Justin Adam Coach. Hiroki Koda Cum Laude. Samuel James Lackey. 
Michael Morris. Michael Morris Lamfrey Magna Cum Laude. Mark Richard LePage, Magna Cum Laude. William Kenneth Liotti. Lauren R. Matusello. Dominic Charles McCullough. Max David Makawam Cum Laude. Rachel Marie Melody. Alexa Nicole Rose Montani. Lauren Leone Moore. Alexander August Morris. Hunter Donovan Murphy. Joseph Rosario Niccolo. Claire Sanson O'Keefe, summa cum laude. Shannon Grace O'Malley. Kamani Alexander Palmer. Neil Joseph Perry. Brianna Teresa Parsons, magna cum laude. Fallon Lindsay Peller. Sarah Jean Pratilli, magna cum laude. William Anthony Petroselli, magna cum laude. Bracado Aguirre Pinto. Jillian Alyssa Pressa, magna cum laude. Stephen Mark Richitelli. Daniel Bruce Rinkert. Zoe Marie Rose, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Mary Salt, cum laude. Austin John Savora. Zoe Jordan Schibel. Hannah Fiore Sibley. Keelan Ann Spencer, summa cum laude. Edward Augustus Springett. Sean Michael Stopel. John Arthur Sutherland III. Adam Theralt. Alyssa Ann Velez, magna cum laude. Spencer P. Vinton. Shelby Mackenzie Weeks. Jillian Elizabeth Yamartino, cum laude. Graduates of the School of Visual and Performing Arts. Jillian Rose Butler. Michaela Elizabeth Carey. Gianna Lillian Deprile. Natalie Care Demetrio. Kaylee Rose Higgins. Madison Ann Mucci. 
Sarah E. Nobes. Nola Alexandra Barocelli, cum laude. Rebecca Blodgett, magna cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Boyer, cum laude. Brandon Austin Berg. Jamie Elizabeth Caponegro, summa cum laude. Marielle Cassidy. <laughs> Amelia Rose Castelli, summa cum laude. Nicole Elizabeth Sheila, magna cum laude. Hannah Louise. <laughs> Isabel Davern, summa cum laude. Alisa Beth Doherty, magna cum laude. Kirsten Rose Doherty. Elizabeth Paris Dorian, cum laude. Sadie Margaret Elko. Emma Elise Farrington. Bridget Marie Ford. Caitlin Ann Frati. Jenna Marie Gamelli, summa cum laude. Brianna Rose Gilm, cum laude. Kaylee Elizabeth Glidden, magna cum laude. Emma Grace Greco. Lillian Rose Hakala. Summa cum laude. Michelle Ann Kaufman, cum laude. Emily Lanza, magna cum laude. Alexandra Catherine Lawler. Bridget K. Layden. Erica Nicole Labbers, cum laude. Laura Ann Martin. <laughs> Great job. Uh, Matthew Ryan Mazzarella, magna cum laude. William Francis Maher. Haven Catherine Sargent Miller. Sarah Helen Marisola, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Francis Moffitt, summa cum laude. Emily Blair O'Donnell, magna cum laude. Yumika Onuma, cum laude. Phelan Olivia Parmalee, magna cum laude. Alexandra Marie Rose, Summa cum laude. Natalie Elizabeth Ryan. Anthula Louise Shulman. Annabella Marie Silva. Magna cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Smith, cum laude. Lilia Kathleen Smith, summa cum laude. Kaylee Ambria Snowden, cum laude. Sophie Stockwell, cum laude. Julianne Marie Sullivan. Amanda Jane Torini. Catherine Elizabeth Tomko, cum laude. Jesse Vancelet, cum laude. Shannon Rose Velu, magna cum laude. Kara Kowski. Jenna Woods. Ashlyn Renee Young, summa cum laude. Leah Marie Zosh. Yeah. 
Congratulations. All set. Thank you. Will all the graduates please rise? Congratulations, class of 2021. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. I would ask that you remain standing before I invite Reverend Gail Cantor to the podium for the benediction and to begin the recessional, we wanted to leave you with one small token of our appreciation. Over the past year, it came to my attention that Endicott College did not have an alma mater. Typically, the alma mater is sung at commencement, orientation, convocation, and reunion. So Becca Keneally, chair of the Performing Arts Department, George Dara, director of Endicott College's percussion ensemble, and I teamed up to write and compose an alma mater that will be sung for the first time before we recess today. The lyrics can be found on the back of your program. It will be formed by members of the Endicott Singers, and we ask that you all sing along. Howard Thurman, mystic, minister, and college chaplain once said, and I quote, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. As we come to the close of your college commencement ceremonies, let this be our prayer for you. That you leave here today on a quest to hear the call of that which makes you come alive and standing solidly on the preparation you've completed at Endicott College, 
We pray that you will have the courage and heart to hear that call and fulfill it for your sake and for the sake of the world. We trust that you will. We support you fully. We honor you this day as you celebrate this milestone in your life. Amen.